what's going on guys tomorrow i'm going on a flight and i thought this was a good opportunity to make a what's in my everyday slash travel bag video what's in my tech bag videos have always been one of my favorite kinds of videos to watch on youtube almost all of my favorite youtubers have made a video like this and i just love seeing people's choice of tech that they carry around in their everyday bags and over the years i've kind of upgraded and found my own favorite tech to carry in my everyday bag and i've always always wanted to make my own what's in my tech bag video and before i leave tomorrow i thought this is a good time to make my what's in my everyday tech bag video so without further ado, this is what is in my everyday tech bag in 2021. So starting off with the backpack itself, this backpack I've had for many, many years. It's from a brand called Solo. I hadn't really heard much of them when I got this. I think this backpack is actually just from like a Marshalls or Ross or something. And I just always had it and I've always loved it for its size. It only has one main compartment. This one's for, this one's a laptop sleeve. So it has a small compartment on the top here. Small and then a bigger one in the front here. It has two carrying handles here. One on the top here and one in the back here. The back is very well padded. I've, it's never been uncomfortable when I wear it. The shoulder straps are very comfortable. And just overall, for how slim it is, it makes really good use of the space. And I like the design. It's really clean and simple. Nothing crazy on it. Screaming, come steal me. And I don't see myself switching to another one anytime soon. I will try to find this and link it below. And by the way, everything in this video, I'm going to try to find and link it below. Some of the things I've had for a long time, so I don't know if they still make it, but but I'm going to try my best to link everything below. So yeah, some of the stuff in my backpack is brand new. Some of it I've always, I've used for years and never had to replace. So everything in here is kind of always changing and upgrading. So next year, everything in here might be completely different or it might be the same. Who knows? All right, so I'm going to start off with the compartments in the front. On the top here, this is everything that like, this is everything that I often have to quickly reach for. It's the easiest thing, it's the easiest compartment on the backpack to get to. So I keep everything I'll like in a pinch need to quickly grab and use. All right, so first in here is my wallet. So this wallet I got pretty recently and it's been the probably the best wallet I've ever had. This wallet is from a company called Rulis. If you haven't heard of them, I've done a video using one of their products in the past, a the one their ultra thin iPhone case. And I'm just a really big fan of the products they make. A lot of the products they make are for people like me who love like the minimalist lifestyle. So I was really impressed with their ultra thin iPhone case. And after I made that video about their case, they reached out to me and said, hey, we're making an ultra thin wallet. Do you want us to send you a few? And I was like, for sure. At that time, the wallet I was using was literally one of these black paper clips. I had one of those generic leather wallets and I always hated the bulge, they, like it bulging out of my pocket. I never took my wallet anywhere in the first place just because it was so bulky in my pocket and it. And so I would literally take my cards and some cash and I would literally just and I would literally just clip it all together and have this in my pocket. So when I got this, this is probably the biggest game changer for me as far as wallets go. The whole wallet is the size of a credit card and it just fits super well in my pocket. It feels really good in the hand. The whole wallet is two thick metal plates held together by a strong kind of rubber band over here. And how it works is you take your cards and you kind of feed them into the bottom here. And then whenever you need to access them, you push your thumb in this little groove over here, and then you can just pull out the card you need. It took a bit of time to get used to, but after I got it down, this wallet has been the best wallet I've ever used. And it also comes in a really nice kind of tin canteen. So with it, you, so with it you get like an instruction manual. Oh, here's the three colors. Yes, black, silver, and gray. When you get it, you have the wallet and then an extra rubber band. So if this one ever snaps after a long time of use, you can just swap it out and continue using it. So that is my wallet of choice. It's insanely good, highly recommend. I'll have it linked below if you guys wanna check it out or buy it for yourself. So that is, so that. And then moving on up here, I have, oh, my handy dandy, retractable duster i've always had this everywhere near me um, one of my biggest pet peeves is having dust on like anything whether it's like screens 
and basically anything I always want to like dust it off so I always have this handy in case I see any dust on anything that's in here or around me so that's that and then moving on in here I have oh to go with that duster I have my microfiber cloth I have a microfiber cloth, it's not always this one, it's whatever one I have. I always have this around to clean screens, camera lenses, my phone screen, anything that gets fingerprinty or dirty, always have a microfiber cloth. All right, and then I have, all right, chapstick. Yeah, chapstick. <laughs> all right, and then, oh, last, in here I have a 64 gigabytes thumb drive um this is for kind of emergencies if I ever run out of storage on anything or if I ever need to transfer files or photos or videos it's really slow but it works and that is all that's in the top over here so we can no we'll leave it we'll leave it open all right now the second compartment in the front here this is where I keep all my cables and chargers for everything I take with me. So the first cable over here, this is my USB-C cable of choice. I've, I'm really trying to switch completely to only needing this cable, USB-C, but thanks to Apple's stubbornness, I still have to carry around a lightning charger also. It's braided, it's gray, it looks really nice. I haven't had any problems with it. This one's from Monoprice, really inexpensive. I'll link it below. So that is my USB-C cable of choice. And then like I showed you guys, this is my iPhone charger. I only have this for my phone. USB-C to lightning. Yeah, Apple, please switch to USB-C. I heard they're not, but whatever. I gotta deal with that for now. All right, and then I have, yes, and I still carry around a micro USB just for my headphones, which you'll see later. So I also have this for that. And then we have my charging brick of choice. This one came with my laptop, which you guys will see later. It's 30 watts. I use this for everything in here. It charges everything super quickly. So yeah, that's my charging brick of choice and then last in here i have my usb c hub so this is from fall Weddy, and this is probably the ultimate usb c hub it has like every port you can ever imagine on here this prevents you from living the dongle life of having a million dongles for your macbook one thing i love about this one even though it's pretty small it doesn't overheat which was interesting to me i there was another one we had that oh it was bigger than this and it overheated a lot and this one just doesn't overheat which is really good so i've been really impressed with this USB C hub if any of you want to escape the dongle life this is the way to do it you will never need another dongle again so that is everything in the front compartments of my backpack so now we can move on to the main ones Actually, there's one main one, like I said, and the back here is a laptop sleeve for my laptop of choice, which is the 2020 MacBook Air. This is the one with the scissor switch keys. I waited a long time to get this just because I did not want to get a MacBook with the butterfly keys. Those were terrible. I heard they failed a lot. I tried them at a lot of different stores and stuff. They were really uncomfortable. And after and after they came out with this one of March last year, I finally pulled the trigger on a MacBook and it's been really good so far. I got the one with the Core i5, eight gigs of RAM. And that's all I really need. All I really use this for is for things related to like schoolwork, web browsing, watching stuff, and some light video editing. It's actually pretty good for video editing, surprisingly. The one thing about this though, it does get really hot and the battery life on it isn't really good. I get around like four hours, which isn't that bad, but it depends on what you're doing on it. But the second I pull up like DaVinci Resolve to edit a video, I have to plug it in because the battery immediately starts dying. So that is my computer of choice, Core i5 MacBook Air 2020. All right, put that over there. 
All right, so that is all that's in my laptop sleeve compartment. Surprise, surprise. Now we get to the main compartment, which starting off I have in this little sleeve in it, my Bluetooth speaker of choice, which is the mini jam box by Jawbone. I've had this Bluetooth speaker for a really long time and I've never needed to replace it. I absolutely love this thing. It, the design, I really dig the design. It feels really good and it's so easy to just take out and put anywhere. But I use this for personal use. This isn't a speaker I'd recommend for like a party, taking to a party or a gathering because it doesn't get that very loud. It gets loud enough, but not like you take this at a party level loud. But the bass is really good. It's really clear. The buttons are really nice. It, 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 it is micro USB, just be, but that's just because it's pretty old. And sadly, I do believe they've discontinued this. I don't know if the company went out of business or something, but there's still ways you can get this. I think there's still a few on Amazon, but there's many different colors, designs, sh and sizes of this speaker, but it's just always been my favorite and I don't see myself replacing it. So that is my Bluetooth speaker of choice. All right, and now moving on are my, oh, okay, these, these are my current Bluetooth headphones of choice. These are the Monoprice BT300s, I believe. Yeah, that's what they're called. And this for me is the king of headphones when it comes to what you're getting for the price. And I've seen these for as low as like $30 on their website, on the Monoprice website. And that is the biggest robbery I've ever heard of because these are so good for the price. These have never been uncomfortable. The ear cushions are really nice and soft. The headband is really nice. The whole design just looks really clean. It does, they don't feel cheap in any way. The battery life lasts forever. Like it's really hard to kill these and like I've worn these all day at airports and airplanes and they've never died. All right, and and it does have active noise cancellation, which works. The noise cancellation works. It will cut out a lot of noise if you're on an airplane. Good, but it's obviously it's not as good as some of the leading is uh, some of the really expensive ones like the Bose and Sony's then but the noise cancellation for the price it works really well and it also comes with a really nice carrying case it is you it is it charges with micro USB I've actually bought two of these the one I had broke and I just bought new ones just because they're that cheap and they're that good you can you don't have to worry about breaking them because if you do they're just like 30 something dollars really good headphones highly recommend and as far as sound quality goes, they have decent bass, they're pretty clear, and they can get pretty loud. And there's little distortion at the high volumes. So those are my Bluetooth headphones of choice. So actually moving on to last but not least in my backpack is my camera of choice, which is the Canon EOS RP with the RF 50 millimeter 1.8 lens. So I got this camera pretty recently to replace my T6, which I've had for many years. And I absolutely love this thing so far. This is my first full frame camera I've ever had. The picture quality this thing takes is insane. This is also the first mirrorless camera I've ever had. And it took a bit of getting used to, but I really like it. It's really smart. This camera has a lot of like features and it's truly a modern camera. But my favorite thing about it is the full frame. Just because my old camera was crop sensor and I had a, the same kind of lens on it. And I'd have to back away for everything just because it cro everything was like close up. It also takes really good videos, but I mainly use this camera for photos. So this isn't my primary video camera yet, but I'm planning to take more videos with it if I get a wide angle lens for it. But the current lens I have, like I said, is the RF 50mm 1.8. And this has always been my favorite lens just because it does everything you would need in a lens and it's really small and portable. This takes the most insane portraits, night photography, landscapes, you name it and it, it takes it. Like a really good lens. I, I always call this lens like the closest to the human eye. 
just because like whenever I see something I want to take a picture of I can count on this lens to capture what I'm seeing so that is my current camera that I use the RP this thing takes insane photos all right and that's actually everything as you guys can see look how thin the backpack is without anything in it really thin backpack carries everything that i need every day it makes really good use of the space it has and uh yeah so basically every day if i go on an outing if i go on a trip these are the items that i'm going to take with me if you have any questions or recommendations uh, for more things i should add to my everyday bag let me know in the comments but that's going to be it. I had a lot of fun making this video. I've always, like I said, I've always wanted to make a video like this. So thank you guys for watching. Peace.